Hi, and uh, hope you're doing all right, everyone. Here we are, and uh, I want to just share something with you this morning, just very quickly. And uh, I've given it a little title: "Press in and press through." I want to read some scripture to you from the Gospel of Luke, and verse five, seventeen to twenty-six. One day he was teaching, and there were some Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting there, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. And some men were carrying on a bed a man who was paralysed, and they were trying to bring him in and to set him down in front of Jesus. But not finding any way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up onto the roof and let him down through the tiles with his stretcher into the middle of the crowd, there in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this man who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their reasoning, answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins have been forgiven you, or to say, Get up and walk. But so that you may know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, get up and pick up your stretcher and go home. Immediately he got up before them and picked up what he had been lying on and went home glorifying God. They were all struck with astonishment and began glorifying God and they were filled with fear saying, we have seen remarkable things today. In two of the other Gospels, this story is also told in, told in the Gospel of Matthew and in the Gospel of Mark. And in the Gospel of Mark, it says that Jesus had come back to his hometown and was at home. Now, what home meant, we're not quite sure. Maybe that was... Uh, where his mum lived, or maybe it was where Peter was. We're not quite sure about that, but but there was a massive crowd there, and, and Pharisees and scribes had come from all over the region to come and listen to Jesus. And he'd, and he'd been healing people in all the surrounding villages, and there was, there was a stare, there was an expectancy, there was something in the air. <laughs> And in, indeed, in here it says that the power of Almighty God was there to heal. And so there was an expectancy in the people, and the people, I guess, were, were coming to him, those that were lame, those that were blind. But four men brought their friend on a stretcher to Jesus. But they couldn't get to him, such was the crowd. And so they went up onto the rooftop and they began to remove the tiles from the roof. And they got some rope and slowly they lowered him down into the house. And he came to rest in the space in front of Jesus. And Jesus said to him, your sins are forgiven you. And there was a commotion because of, of, of all of that. But, but that's not where I want to go with my little chat this morning. My little chat this morning is um, that in, in, the, in the book of Mark it says that Jesus was astonished by their faith. The four, the four people or whoever, however many had brought him there. He was astonished by their faith. And they broke in and they broke through. They broke in literally and they broke through in their faith with God. And, uh, and I, I want to say that we have an opportunity to break in and to break through with God. 
to press in and to press through in prayer. You see, we bring people to Jesus, not on a stretcher, not breaking down the roof, but we bring people to Jesus with our prayers. with our requests, with our prayers of faith, that we carry these people before the throne of God. And it's not in our strength, it's not in our might, but it's by his grace and by his mercy. And I want us not to step back in prayer, but to step in in prayer and to step in in faith and bring Bring loved ones, bring people, bring our country, bring our world to God and ask God to do something. Let our faith in prayer be recognised by our God. <laughs> we all have people that we need to bring to God. Let us do it. Let us be like these four people, whoever they were, so desperate to get to Jesus that they broke in and they broke through and they brought him to Jesus. You know, the word of God says we are to pray without ceasing. <laughs> and sometimes when we don't see the answers that we want, we step back rather than step forward. What does it mean to pray without ceasing? Well, I think it's, it's that sense of whenever something or someone drops into your head, pray in faith to God and bring them. You know, we're asking, aren't we, at Leicester Elim for people to pray at two times a day, at 12 o'clock at noon and 7, 7.30 at night. And we're asking you to set your alarms on your phones or whatever to remind you to come together to pray. Because at that time, we're going to try and pray as a community of believers for different things that we want to bring before God. Let's bring our prayers and requests before him. You know, I've attached a couple of songs to today's message as I have done in the past. Why don't you open them up and listen to them and be encouraged by them? that uh, who our God is and if this message is encouraging you, why don't you share it with somebody else why don't you um, press subscribe and, and the little bell and, and share and, and share it with somebody else because I believe that God wants us as a nation to pe press in and to press through in prayer at this time speak to you again the Lord bless you